Welcome back. And in this lesson, the focus is going to be on something called concatenation. Now this leads on from what we were doing previously where we were echoing things to the screen. We took some variables, we took the first number, we echoed the first number, is member, etc. Those are fairly basic and we need to be able to take it a step further, obviously. And so we're going to delve a little bit into concatenation. Now this lesson is only the first part. Later in the course, we will take it a step further. But as always, let's start off with some basics. So over on my Explorer panel here, the first thing I think I'm going to do is create a new folder. So new folder, I'm going to call this one basic operators, because eventually we're going to be dealing with basic operators. Now recall there's no .php on the end of this, it's just a folder name. Inside that folder, I am going to create a new file and I'm going to call this one concatenation.php. Now just pointing out something here, if you had say this echo file selected and you create a new folder, it could have appeared in here. So it could have appeared in your PHP basics folder. If that's the case, obviously you can just go ahead and delete it and create a new one, or you can just drag it and just drop it outside of that folder and it will appear as its own folder in the root level. So that's just something to watch out for. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, we don't need it. So I've got two folders, one with PHP basics, I can close that one. I'm working in this basic operators in this section of the course. I'll go ahead and close this echo.php as well. Okay, well, new file, you know how to start off. We start off with a PHP code block. I mentioned that concatenation was about joining things together. So we could take two more variables, we could join those, we could add some text in between. So to enable us to do that and see a good example, I'll start off with a couple of variable names. So I'll have first name, I'll put that equal to Bob, and we'll have a surname, and let's put the surname, well, let's put it equal to Smith. We'll give him an age, and his age will be 21. I'd like to say that I'm 21, but uh, the students in my classes in school would probably laugh at me. Anyway, moving on. So what I want to do here is to start joining things on. And if you recall the first lesson we did, we said echo hello world. Let's do something similar. Let's say echo and we'll say hello. So echo hello and space, and then say echo hello, and then we'll put in the first name. So you should know what would appear here. It would just say echo, it's gonna say hello, Bob. Let's go across to the browser. Now in your browser, you'll need to make sure you're in your root folder. So let's just go back to localhost. If you're on a Windows machine and localhost, double eight, double eight, if you are on a Mac. We can see the new folder we've created called basic operators. We shall click in there and there we can see concatenation. You can click on there and there we see hello, Bob. All fairly straightforward, so let's take it a step further. So let's say we want to say, hello, Bob Smith. Obviously you should realize we just put a space after first name and then we can put the surname in next. Go back, refresh, hello, Bob Smith. I can put a full stop in there. Go back, refresh, and there's the full stop. Now the reason I'm putting the full stop in or the period as some of you might call it, is that period has special importance or significance when it's outside of those quote marks. And it's this period or dots or full stop, if you want to call it that, that concatenates the strings together. And I'll show you what I mean in this next example. So I'm going to create a, another line here. I'm just going to echo out a break. So I'll put a break in here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to echo out the same thing. Hello, first name, surname, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. I am going to use the dot period, full stop, whatever you want to call it, to concatenate the strings and the text hello together. And here's what I mean. So we can say echo hello. So that is just the same. We can put the comma in there. And then I'm going to put the space. I'm going to come outside the quote marks and put a period, full stop. And then I'm going to say first name. Then I'm going to put another period, full stop. And then I'm going to put another space in between quotes, then another period, and then we're going to have the surname, and then I'm going to put my semicolon. That will finish off that string. 
So I will get the same thing. And if I go across to the browser and refresh, there you see, hello, Bob Smith. Now the second one doesn't have the dot or period on the end. And if I want to put that in, what I'll need to do is put another dot to concatenate on and in quote marks, put the period. Then go back and refresh. And there we go. Hello, Bob Smith. Now, obviously, this first one is a lot cleaner. This second one looks a lot more complicated. But believe it or not, I prefer the second one. I guess it's just the way I've always coded, the way I've always done things. So I do prefer the second one. But it's up to you. It doesn't make a difference. As you've seen, the output is exactly the same. OK, well, let's echo out another break in here. So we'll just echo out another break tag. So there we go. And after the break tag, we can say something like, you are 21 years old. And again, we could do it two ways. We could say echo, and we could say you are, and then put in the age. So that's 21, and then years old. So that's the nice, easy way to do it. It's very clean, very easy to read. And if I go across and refresh, there you go. You are 21 years old. I suppose I should put that full stop back in there. Let's put a full stop in there. I can echo out another break. So again, same thing. And then in here, I can do it that second way. So echo, so you are. Now after this, I'll have to concatenate on. So concatenate on the edge, then concatenate on again, a space, years old with my full stop and then semicolon. Over to the browser, quick refresh. And there we go, you are 21 years old. So two ways of doing the same thing, both get the same output. One is cleaner than the other. As I say, my personal preference is for the second one. And I think that's down to years ago when you used to put these inside the quote marks, they wouldn't turn color. And I think that might still be the case on some code editors. So if you can imagine this whole string here was the same color, it would be very difficult to pick up these variable names in here. Whereas doing it this way, I can clearly see the variable names. As I say, it's totally up to you moving forward how you would like to do this. Later in the course, we are going to be taking things a step further. So it's a good idea to get a very strong foundation in using these strings and using concatenation. In the next few videos, you'll have plenty of practice as we go through some of these basic operators. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.